Hi guys, Aspen Hell Drone in Asia. I'm out hiking. It's late. Uh, the sun is going down in about 10 minutes. And today I just want to test the low light on the Hero 10. I'm shooting in 5.3K, 30 frames. Um, natural color, medium sharpness. ISO is set to minimum 100 and max 800. I don't know if that's enough, but I don't see any reason cranking up the ISO. You only get more noise. I just want to test the Hero 10 in conditions like this. This, I'm walking in the woods. It's pretty dark and gray. Everything is set. Or everything else is set to auto. I want to compare the image uh, side by side in 4K and 5.3K because I see some people are talking about um, noise in the image, especially in 5.3K in low light and uh, in 5.3K. But uh, we're gonna see if the Hero 10 works in a uh, little bit darker environment. Uh, I think this is the limit for. A camera like this the sun is going down it's dark and gray i'm shooting in natural color profile now i usually shoot in flat uh, in good lighting condition because i like to, to gray the footage a little bit but uh, for many people they don't want to do too much with the image and i always use uh, low sharpness too because i think it's better to add sharpness in post uh, by myself but if you don't want to do that, it's always nice to see that it's uh, possible to use medium sharpness, especially in an environment like this. But I know that using um, medium sharpness and maybe the, um, your skin tones looks a little bit strange, because, I don't know, it does something with your face, but uh, this is a side-by-side side -side test. Um, in 4K and 5.3K, so we can see if there are any major difference. Always nice to see, but please comment, of course, uh, if you can spot the difference and what you recommend using. I think actually that 4K will look a little bit better because you get a higher pixel count in 5.3K, so the process are working a little bit harder, you can say. And I don't recommend using boost, I think. I don't think you're gonna see any difference because this camera is gonna struggle no matter what when the lighting condition is is poor. So it's better to try to, to help the camera a little bit and keep your camera as steady as possible. Uh, yeah, so it's always fun to test this. Of course, I'm gonna show some side-by-side -side footage, but also in full screen so you can see the difference. And if the weather's hold, I think I'm gonna compare this camera side by side with the Pocket 2. I don't know, maybe that's gonna be in another video, but... How does the footage look? Natural color profile, 4K30, linear plus horizon. Yeah, if you enjoyed my channel, of course, please subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, always fun to do things like this, so... Uh, yeah, I really like this camera, I must say that. So far so good, I know that some people are having some issues with it, but uh, for me it's been working pretty good. There's always going to be some bugs. And I know that uh, GoPro are releasing a big firmware up update on the 16th of November, I think. So it's going to be fun to see what they add in. I hope they do some improvement of course but uh, yeah you never know <laughs> but uh, be sure that this camera is gonna get a lot of updates in the coming year I'm pretty sure until the Hero 11 will be released because of uh, uh, you have the DJI Action 2 coming soon so okay so I'm gonna wrap this up but uh, Thank you so much for watching and of course subscribe to my channel Drone in Nature and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.